Hello everyone, welcome to your 22nd Ionic with Firebase tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how I redesigned this page and made it more beautiful. Okay, to save time, I've already written the code, so I'll just put you through. Alright, and um, I changed to um, Mozilla Firefox, and I changed to Opera browser, because Chrome kept on uh, putting stuff here, okay? All right, so uh, the first thing I did was to add an image. I went to the internet, browsed for a free image, and uh, got an image. And then I put it in the images folder of our project directory. I went to fireblogger, www, image. Then I pasted the image here, as you can see. And then the image doesn't have a white border. So what I did was um, came to the top of my page and... Uh, did some, some CSS manipulation to get a correct image. So what we have here is uh, at the top of the pages, we use IMG tag to insert the image, look at it, logo.png. And then we did some styling, which is uh, we did a radius of 500 pixels, just to make sure that it's round, all right? And then we did a border of two pixels. The border is what you see here, this white color. If we made it one pixel, it will be lower. If we made it three pixels, it will be thicker okay so i just made it three pixels then we have a solid solid means it should be solid like this we can make it dotted uh, dotted and this is the color the color is white so you can change yours this is basic css as you can see um, i'm just going to make it two pixels and leave it at that then the next thing we did was to add a width of 100 pixels just to make sure that it maintains some um, certain uh, width, okay? Width of 100 pixels, and we don't need to add height. If you if you add height, if you don't add height, it will maintain an aspect ratio. So the width and the height will automatically increase according to um, the ratio, okay? Then the next thing I did was style these but these um, forms. The first thing I styled was the the text color of the label, which is email. So if you, I came to the label like this and uh, added a style, inline styling. And what I did was change the color to ash or something. I just chose a color that is ash. Then I said margin left, which is 10 pixels. I shifted it from, I didn't want it to be at the extreme. So I gave it a little margin, 10 pixels. Okay. Then um, that's it for the label. The next thing I did was um, in the input text, I did the same thing, did the styling, as you can see, border. Okay, in the text box, I, I added border. This is the text box. When you want something to curve, you just put the border radius. You know, here we did border radius of 500 pixels. Here we just used a small one of like 10, 10 pixels. So we have um, a border radius of, um, of 15 pixels. Then we have a color. Color is the text color. So when you start typing, it's not black again. It takes a certain color. So we use the same color with all this to be consistent, okay? And the next thing we did was um, the border to be one pixel solid. The same thing we did here. And uh, in the, the image, the same color. And we did that too for the password. We we styled the label, then we styled the text box. Okay. Then the next last thing we did was the we worked on the the submit buttons. These two guys here. We added icons to them. So we went to the Ionic icons and um, got some cool icons. One for login. Look at the first icon for login. And um, this icon for login. Then we had one for logout. Then I changed the color by adding danger. You can change the color by saying stuff like primary. And uh, you will see the color will change. As you can see, the color has changed. So uh, you use the different color palettes to change it. I like danger. And um, finally, I changed that of the, the sign up and of course added an icon and at the bottom here, we had these two buttons. One was the Google sign-in button. 
and one was the forgot password button. Remember in the past tutorial we used fill. When you use fill, um, it literally flows into the two extremes. And, but when you use um, when you use block, it stops somewhere. So not fill but full. So when you use full, see what happens, it doesn't have edges, okay? And um, I didn't want it that way, so we used fill and uh, made sure that we used um, block and made sure that um, it had edges. So that's how we styled our login button. Of course, um, somebody might ask, um, is there, are there better ways, more professional ways to do this? Yes, you can always go to your uh, variable.css and um, style things here so that it will reflect to in the whole um, pages okay but this is just for demonstration purpose all right so thank you very much don't forget to go to the um, to go to github and um, and follow the project so this is the project for this tutorial on github i'll show you so on github if you need the codes all the code i used to write this it's, it's up online i've hosted everything so you simply go to github.com slash devozalo and slash fireblogger. First thing you do is to hit the start button and then um, you can download it by clicking here and then you download or you, you clone it from your command line. All right. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, drop them at the bottom of this video. In the next video, we'll log in and uh, create um, even more breathtaking stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Let me just give you a sneak peek of what we'll do in the next video tutorial. We'll have our profile sorted out inside. So if we went inside and uh, we would have a profile picture like this, and uh, we'll, of course we'll remove this, all right? And this profile is being fetched from Firebase. So thank you very much. See you in the next video tutorial.